Frederick. Rita. How are you? I'm very warm. I'm very warm too. It's very warm. It's hot. I would say it's hot. It's not even just warm. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, I can't stand it. You know what would help? What? what? You know what you're doing with your hand right now? Yeah, I'm fanning myself off. Yeah. What if I said you could make a fan or I could make you a fan? Really? You would do that for me? I would do that for you, Frederick. I would do that for you. Amazing. I would love a fan. Well, then let me make you a fan. Great. Okay. What do I need to do? You can go over there and watch. Great. I love it. Okay. Bye, everybody. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to go sweat over there. Ugh. <laughs> all right. So, all we need is our watercolors, our paintbrush, some water, <clears throat> and paper, and if you have them around, some scissors. It's not going to be complicated cutting, don't worry. Now before we paint, we're actually going to fold this piece of paper. So what we're going to do is, if you hold it like this, we're going to fold down about that much, which is just a little wider than your finger or an adult's finger. Okay, so maybe maybe like two of your fingers. And then we're gonna fold back the other way. Okay, so this is called an accordion fold. Make those creases really tight. So see how it's already, so we fold it one way and then we fold it back. And then we're gonna fold forward again. So we're just going to keep going opposites. So if we go forward, then the next time we go backward. And we just keep doing that. Forward. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even, but get it as best as you can. And then go backward again. Forward, doop, doop, doop. backward, we're almost done with the folding. Oh, Mooka, are you angry? Mooka hears another dog outside, and when she hears other dogs outside, she gets upset. She does not care that we are filming right now. She needs the world to know that this is her apartment building and no one else is allowed in here. Okay, so we have a little tail here. We have a little extra piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and cut that off. I could also fold it in if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right along this line. Now again, you wanna be very careful with your scissors. And if you're not good with scissors, that's okay. Get an adult to help you. Okay, so now we basically have our fan done. So if you hold it down here, you can spread it out up here. And you have yourself a little fan. However, it's pretty plain. It's kind of white, right? So we're going to... Flatten it. All right, and I need to figure out what I want to put on this fan. I think I want to paint a sunset. I love a sunset. I love a sunset too, Frederick. So I'm going to start with the ground. I'm going to make my ground nice and green because I love a nice green grassy meadow of a ground. So I get a lot, I'm getting a lot of water on my paint. That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just gonna go across the bottom like this. And this is just regular paper. It's not um, watercolor paper because it's easier to fold. Watercolor paper is really hard to fold. If you really want to, you can use watercolor paper, but just use like a ruler or some other sort of straight edge 
to help you fold along a straight line because otherwise it's going to be really hard to do. But you totally can. If you want to, too, since this is regular paper, you could just draw on here with markers if you wanted to instead of painting it. All right. Now that I have my grass, you know what? I'm going to go up a little further. Just a little bit. And I'm going to make it kind of a hill. Like that. We're making a hill. We're making a hilly meadow. All right, there we go. And there it is. All right, so now it kind of looks like it's got a hill in front of a hill. That's kind of cool. I like that. If I want to do even more of that, I could darken this a little bit. That's pretty cool, right? All right, now we're going to get our sunshine, which I'm going to do in yellow. I'm going to rinse off my brush really well first. And I'm going to get that yellow nice and wet. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do a really big sun. And it's dripping because I'm holding it up. That's okay. All right, so I did a really big sunshine. And now all around that sunshine, I'm going to do different colors. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth like this with different colors. I'm going to put in some orange. Just think about different colors that you see during a sunrise or a sunset. There's usually orange in the sky. There's usually, there's sometimes reds, right? There, often the sky is still a little bit blue around it, so we could put some blue in here. Right? What else? What other colors do we see in sunsets? Purple. Sometimes I see purple. Uh, yeah, Frederick. Sometimes there's purple in sunsets. That's very true because the sunlight mixes with the blue of the sky and makes a nice purple. So let's make some purple up here. Ooh, that looks pretty. See how all these colors are starting to mix together? And I'm literally just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with my brush. Now you can paint whatever you want on your fan. Or you can just paint a sunset and not make it into a fan. That's totally up to you. We're going to do a little bit of red. I'm going to clean off my brush really well. I'm going to get that red nice and wet. And we're going to dip it in. Ooh, that looks cool. And the more you practice, the better it'll get. This is probably my third sunset this week. I'm going to do that so it doesn't drip down. And because I've done so many of them, they're getting, I'm getting better at it. The more you do, it's going to show that you've been really practicing. Now I'm going to move. Oh, we got some drips down here. It's all right. I can cover that with some green. There we go. Now it just kind of looks like it's reflecting off of there. Now I'm going to move this over just a little bit so that I can, I'm just going to wet my brush. Bring some of this color over here, like a that, and there we go. I have my sunset. It's so pretty. All right, and now I do this a little bit. Now my paper is really, really wet. This is why we didn't fold after we folded before. But once it is completely dry, <clears throat> we can fold along those folds again. And if you want to, once it's dry, you can paint something on the other side or you can paint another picture and tape them together back to back so that you have a double sided fan. That would be pretty cool. So if I got another piece of paper and painted on it and then attached it to this side and folded it up along with this, that would be pretty cool. And now, 
we have, let's fold it again, a beautiful fan. And it will, once it's dry, it won't be so wobbly and fall over like that. It'll stay up. If you want to, you could staple down here and then it'll really fan out. And then you can fan your face with it. Frederick, does that feel good? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, it feels lovely. Thank you. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue fanning off Frederick, and I might feed him some grapes later. Yeah. Oh, I love grapes. Yeah, okay. So, um, keep cool, everyone. We love you. You're doing great. Keep washing your paws. Keep enjoying those sunsets. And have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Ah, I'll shut it off. Okay. Thank you, Frederick. You're welcome. Goodbye.